What's up guys, I wanted to go ahead and talk about the One UI 4.0 update slash Android 12 update for the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Uh, guys, this update is super, super awesome, guys. It comes with a lot of nice little nifty features, so we'll talk about some of the coolest ones. But overall, performance-wise, uh, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus still very, very super smooth here. Um, as far as the questions about battery life, I haven't really noticed anything about battery life. Um, you know, not super, I haven't noticed any improvements, honestly. Uh, Speed-wise, it does feel a little bit snappier, a little bit responsive a little bit more responsive um, so that is something that I definitely like and I just want to briefly talk about some of the coolest features in One UI 4 I'm not going to talk about all of them because I already did a video on it uh, but we will go over like the ones that I think are super cool and very useful uh, so first off the one thing that you'll notice is that the wallpaper will actually change the icons and it'll actually just change the color palette uh, in general now um, so it just looks really nice. Now it only changes the Samsung icons, it doesn't change all of them, but it still looks really nice. I really like this uh, look. So if we just change the wallpaper to pretty much anything, just like with the, uh, you know, the Google Pixel phones, it'll try to like match it. So we'll go ahead and try to do like maybe this one right here. Let's go ahead and change it. And it will try to go ahead and match that color scheme for us. So it tried to match like the cat, as you can see. Tried to do its best, but it does work and uh, it does a really good job. So I really like uh, these new customization uh, options that we have. I want to show you guys another feature in Android 12. So when you click on anything that accesses the microphone or camera, I believe, uh, it actually will show you a green indicator. Uh, right here. So this is pretty much like a privacy uh, thing going on here. So you will know if the camera or microphone is being used because you'll see a green light right here. Also another cool addition that they did in the uh, photos application. Now if I long press you can see it actually starts recording now. So this is a really quick way to start recording. Now if I remove my finger from the record button it'll stop recording. Uh, but this is just a really quick way to like get video without having to obviously like come into video, come into your photos app. It's default on photos and then you swipe over video. Uh, this is just a really quick way to just boom and then we're in, we're recording video. So I really, really love that feature. I think it's super slept on. Alright, so this next one is probably the best one uh, so far. So do you guys know how like some applications are not compatible with the split screen or the pop-up view it just gives you this so for an example I'll open up the Play Store and you can see this is compatible with the pop-up view and the split screen and stuff like that but with this One UI 4 update we're gonna change that we're gonna go into settings we're gonna go into advanced features labs and we're gonna click this on multi window for all applications now applications like uh, the Instagram application now look, we can do the pop-up and we can do split screen now. So this now works with the split screen. So applications that weren't compatible with split screen and pop-up are now compatible. That is just absolutely crazy feature now because a lot of people don't do split screen because their favorite applications are supported now. So this is absolutely a crazy feature to have now. So this is just, I just absolutely love that. All right, so next is the new feature called the light balance so if we hop into the gallery and then we click on edit a photo you can see now this has kind of a different look to it now but if you click on this feature called light balance uh, now this is not just brightening the photo it'll bring out a lot of detail uh, in a shot you can see that it's getting you can see it, it'll just bring out detail in shots as you can see and it doesn't like you know when you bump up an ISO like in a video it's not doing that it, it really does like bring out the light in the shot and really makes the shot pop and look a, a lot better uh, so you just sort of find that balance and uh, you can just take like a darker photo and kind of bring a lot of light to it and I think that's really awesome too so you can see that is the, the finished result now I didn't lose any quality of the photo or anything like that you see it still looks nice 
So that's one thing that I really like too. And just overall, just the look of the new photo editor uh, is pretty nice too. All right, so this next one is a really cool battery tip. So if you go to settings and go to battery and device care, I'm gonna tap on battery, more battery. So this is where people that are gonna use their phones for a long time, protect battery. So this is a new option here to extend the lifespan of your battery, limit the maximum charge to 85%. So basically what that means is that it won't charge it actually past 85%. Uh, doing that will make your battery capacity last longer um, so you can turn this on if I suggest if you're planning on using your phone for you know a very long time you plan on keeping it for some years uh, this will definitely help with your battery life in the long run so definitely turn that uh, option on now next there is a new look to the widgets here it's pretty much got like a big uh, overhaul so I really like the calendar widgets I think it looks uh, really great uh, so I did use that one um, but yeah widgets do have an overhaul now so they look really clean really modern looking now as you can see so I, I just suggest you just come in here and just kind of play around uh, with the widgets and see kind of what you what you like and um, yeah so widgets do have an overhaul you can just sort of go through them and they just look different and I think they look really nice too very very much uh, modern looking here so I really like it uh, I think the clock one too is kind of a slept on one Let me show you guys see really nice clock one yeah so just check out the widgets and see if you like them I think they just look really great now, lastly I want to show you guys the settings and lock screen we're gonna go to lock screen and then we're gonna go ahead and head to the always on display right here now we do have a new setting called show for new notifications so that means it'll only show um, you know obviously for new notifications pretty much self-explanatory um, now we do have something really cool now if you go to clock style so if you go to image now we see stickers and AR emoji that we can set here so if I want to set up uh, my AR emoji person um, I can go ahead and do that or I can you know create it with like an image or something like that and um, you know so that's really nice and then our stickers here and we can actually download more stickers as well too if we desire to if I wanted to put that on as my you know always on display just to show you guys what that will look like you guys can see like the little gif um, so the update itself has a ton of stuff uh, in it um, so yeah, so ton of improvements, a lot of bug fixes here. Like I said, overall stability is just really nice on this phone. The phone was never really slow to begin with or anything like that. Uh, but you should notice, you know, a performance jump here, less hiccups and stuff like that. Still a very fast phone. As far as like image quality, I uh, didn't really notice it taking any type of better photos. It still takes pretty much the same photos. The photos uh, to me are still pretty good on this phone. Um, gaming is going to be essentially the same still. You'll still be able to play games really well. Um, overall, this phone is just still a beast of a device. And like I said, battery life is not really that much different. You can see we do, this is much bigger now too as well. It's kind of got like a, a overhaul there. Um, but yeah, so what do you guys think of the One UI 4 update? Have you guys tried it on your device? Be sure to let me know and I'll catch you guys in the next one.